Chapter 14 waves. A sound wave reduces in intensity but maintains a constant frequency as it travels through air. Which statement is correct? So intensity has decreased. Frequency is the same. Which statement is correct? Oh boy. Let's see. The maximum displacement. Okay, okay, okay. Before I read and get myself confused, let me just try to draw a wave, you know, sound wave. Okay. Mm. So let's see. Frequency. I'm going to draw a displacement time curve. So let's say my normal wave is like this. Constant frequency, right? So all the periods should be the same. But it reduces in intensity. So that means as it's going further and further, the amplitude will get smaller and smaller because intensity is proportional to the amplitude squared. So if intensity is decreasing, that means the amplitude should also decrease. So how would I draw this new decreasing curve? Maybe it looks something like that. It's sort of big. Amplitude is getting smaller, 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 losing energy. This is what we call damping. You lose some energy. You will learn more of this in A2 chapter 13 or oscillation chapter if it's not called chapter 13. Anyway, we'll save that for later. So the maximum displacement of the particles change between one particle and the next. Oh yes, it's getting smaller and smaller. Amplitude is decreasing. This maximum displacement is also known as amplitude. So I like this answer. I, I, I will choose this, this answer. I'm very convinced. But let's check the rest just to be sure. The phase difference between adjacent particles is zero. Why though? Adjacent means if I put the particle here and I put a particle here, phase difference is zero. Huh? This, no, 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 no. This is for stationary waves. Then adjacent particles between nodes are phase difference is zero. But this is a progressive wave. It's traveling through air. Okay. Part B. Uh, sorry, part C. Question C. Wavelength is the distance between two particles that have a phase difference of 180. What? Phase difference of 180? No, wavelength here is a phase difference of 360 degrees. So this is problematic. Nope. Part D. Two particles have phase difference of 360 have the same maximum displacement. No, I mean... You can say, miss, if I take this particle and I take this particle, that's the difference of 360, right? But they're not going to have the maximum displacement because your displacement is decreasing. So this is decreasing. So that's not correct. So the best choice is A. Wow. A lot of people probably choose D because they're like, oh yeah, amplitude makes sense. Anyway, that's the beginning of the wave section of MJ20.